so, you know, from our perspective, we're always looking at ways to try to protect from failures. We've got backup systems that we implement, maintain, monitor, and manage. What, what should I expect happens if a server fails in my business? Is, and, and I, you know, you could probably look at it in a cloud server, an on-premise server. I, I'm not so sure there's a tremendous amount of difference depending on what you've got set up. But can you talk about that for a minute, what, what the expectation should be? Yeah, absolutely. So depending upon what caused the server to fail, there may be different areas of ramification, right? If the failure was due to a ransomware attack versus a hard drive uh, failing or two hard drives in RAID 5 or something like that, Mm -hmm. right, which actually caused the server to go down. Um, I mean, the first obvious issue is that you will not have access to anything that was on that server, right? If those are your critical business systems, your business is not running if you cannot get that server back up and running quickly. Um, there could be other ramifications if it were something like a breach because the amount of data that was on that server, the specific data that was on the server, um, being could be exfiltrated, um, yeah. sold on the dark web, sold to your competitors if it's your intellectual property, those kinds of things. So failure being kind of a general term, speaking in... in in both directions of that, you're going to have different kinds of things if you're executing your incident response plan versus just your disaster backup and recovery plan, your business continuity and disaster recovery plan, um, to try to get hardware back up and running, right? So the first question everybody asks once the server goes down is, well, don't we have a backup? (laughs) Um, And... Your experience, uh, based upon the answer to that question, it may be very different. Um, I think in this day and age, most people have some kind of a backup, but not all back- backups are created equal. Um, if you have some sort of a system that is backing up data and data only, it means that you're going to have to rebuild that server once you procure the proper hardware, if hardware fails, from scratch, reload the operating system, reload policies, reload data, Applications. Reload your applications, right? Every, everything that was on that server has got to be rebuilt from scratch. If your backup system is something that is image-based, where it's basically taking a picture of that server, yeah. um, one of several things could happen, depending upon the backup scenario. Um, a, if the, if the hardware is there and can be repaired, you can restore directly back to that machine somewhat quickly. Um, if it's the type of device where you can take that image and spin it up on the backup device, I would say in an hour, you can have a server up and running. Uh, that back looks, to business? Back to business, looks and feels the way it looked um, prior, to, um, prior to the crash. And if the failure was something more like a data center outage because the pipe burst in the ceiling and took all the electronics down, Um, and your backup system had a um, on-prem to cloud option where they're taking those images and also putting them out in the cloud, you could potentially spin up your your Mm -hmm. server in the cloud, be able to connect back to it, be back in business. There would probably be some latency in any of those options. It's not going to be exactly the same. Um, Depending upon capacity on an on-prem device, you may or may not be able to spin up all the the virtual servers that was on a physical server. You can get up your most critical stuff. That's why having something like a business impact analysis for your most critical systems is important. So you know if I need to recover multiple things but can't recover all of them, which ones are the most important to the business. Sounds good. Need to have some fail-safe. Need to have some fail-safe. All right. Um, And a lot of organizations, even if they're... 25, 50 people still consider themselves small businesses. And uh, the question I get a lot is, is anybody really going to try to steal my data? Does anybody care about my data? Does anybody care about their data, Bob? Do you care about their data? We always care about people's (laughs) data. It's part of our job. But I, I don't think in the... And this is a generalization. In the sub... Fortune 1000, I don't think there's t- 
targeting going on on an everyday basis 